We started working with the Wildlife Conservation Film Festival like a couple months ago. And uh, Christopher, who's the founder and CEO, he's always uh, wanted to come up with a way to engage the youth into protecting endangered species. And uh, we thought that you know coming up with like pure and simple advertising wouldn't cut it. So we created a brand for them called Endangered Love. And basically, like uh, the thought of the brand is that uh, the best way, most effective way to, to avoid extinction is actually having sex. So we created this really fun brand where we show pandas, rhinos, gorillas, and sloths having sex in every imaginable possible way. Uh, and on the website endanger.love, you can buy a, a lot of merchandise that, that features that. And to launch this, we came up with a super fun animated uh, uh, music video. With the, it, it's basically pandas singing I Just Had Sex, the song from Lonely Island. Really nice animation made by Lobo in Brazil. And it's a it's a it's a really it's a really fun, engaging way to talk about you know a, a very complicated topic. So you just gotta sing. I just had sex. In this case, I think we have a, a great help from using a famous piece of music. So I Just Had Sex was a, was a hit with, uh, from Lonely Island and they were very generous to allow us to use it. Uh, people like the song, people engage with the song, people want to listen to, to the song. Uh, so we have a, a really great uh, head start with, with the fact that it's just a song. So um, people wanted to like, you know, listen to music more so than listen to commercial messages. And in this case, it's just, it's just a song. Uh, and you add the panda factor, which is you know, something that everyone likes. So you have pandas and a good song and you don't have to, 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 to do much else. It is only used uh, online and on the screenings for, for WCFF. So you can see the whole piece online is a two minute long uh, kind of music video or like when you attend WCFF screenings. I've been in the business for 20 years and uh, it never ceases to get more exciting every time. It, it, like right now, like when I first started, um, you'd have very limited amount of space to come up with ideas. It was like, you know, radio spot, a print campaign, out of home campaign, maybe a TV spot. And now like uh, the amount of things that we can come up with that people will engage and they will make uh, into like a larger message. People become the media. That, that is just something so exciting. Like you can create a pop-up shop and that becomes the whole platform for a brand to communicate because people in interact with it and they'll propagate the message. So I think it's, it's uh, like the possibilities are so broad uh, and that's super exciting, but it's also super scary because uh, you don't have some, like a limited space to kind of go like, oh, if I just focus on this, I'll get to something great. Now. There's an, an immense amount of possibilities, uh, which is super exciting, uh, and uh, we just need to be like disciplined to like you know stick to an idea and and, and work on it until it's it's great. The cutoff for social media and video is that it has to be good all of the time. Like you you can't spare quality or uh, or like you know really like make something very compelling from beginning to end. Uh, I think you know before. Maybe when everyone was sitting in front of a TV, you, you, you could have a message that wasn't very compelling because everyone was simply like there and you know, very focused. Now you don't have that, so it needs to be very good. And you know, like having the bar be higher up is, is, is something awesome for the industry. Like we're getting better because of it. So it's exciting.